Well, we had very traumatic uh, childhoods, I think. And I am also traumatized by my wig because it's, uh, I mean, my hair, my hair seems to like go backwards. I don't know what's happening. It's kind of like magic. <laughs> it's Mercury in reggaeton. Ah, yes. <laughs> it's affecting hairlines. It's affecting skin. It's affecting weight. I, okay. think, I think my, my face was to have a facelift, so it's pushing the wig back. I'm going to stick to that story. <laughs> it's the gravity. It's gravity. Gravity's changing, so it's just science. It's science. I, I love that. You're so scientific. You're so smart, Marisa. Thank you. I don't tell you that enough. You don't. Thank you, Consuelo, for acknowledging my genius. I love you. You're welcome. Especially when it serves me, I tell you you're smart. <laughs> Very nice. <Anyway. right>. Okay. <laughs> Our yes. next question. Yes. Who is the oldest family member you remember, and what do you remember about them? Oh, my God. Mommy Linda, my great-grandmother. You know. <gasps> You know, when we used to go to her house, it's like if we walked into a furniture store where an order was about to be put on a truck. Everything was literally wrapped in plastic. The couches had plastic that had plastic on the plastic because she didn't want to ruin the plastic that covered the couches. Okay, it was ridiculous. Tablecloths were made of plastic. There was a room where the kids played and she had like plastic on the walls because she didn't want us to leave handprints. It was like living in like a mine box. When we wow, went to very slippery. And you know, now they say micro practice. Oh my goodness, my accent is coming out. The micro plastics, they're not very good for you. So I, I hope you didn't lick the furniture plastic. Did you? Why would I lick furniture, Consuelo? I don't know. Not that I ever tried that. Anyway, um, okay. Uh, what was the question again? I forgot oh, the oldest oh. person. Yes, okay. Yes, you can remember. Mine family. was also my great grandmother on the other side because we have the same great grandmother on one side, but on the other side, uh, her name was Lala, and I remember that she was like ninety six, ninety seven, and I was she was a cancer like you, Marisa, and we loved each other very much, and they told me I was her favorite great grandchild. Did they? Yes. I was, was everybody's favorite. Who is they? Who told you this? I'm not going to say because then you're going to tell. <laughs> I'm not going to tell. This is the other grandma. I don't talk to them as much. Well, but I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you off the air because I don't want everybody to know who told me, who's the snitch in the family. <laughs> okay. I think you know. 